I'd like to report a crime. Someone was drinking alcohol. Oh, I'm just kidding. <gasps> alcohol on the premises? Um, so you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. It's a pretty big day. So, I decided I didn't want to miss out on it. So, I got myself a nice little, oh, I just hit myself in the head, assortment of Dove chocolate. And honestly, if you're looking for anything to give someone, just get freaking Dove chocolate. Unless they're allergic to, like, peanuts <laughs> or caramel or chocolate or, like, anything. <laughs> if that's the case, just get a card or something. Or just don't get anything, honestly. Just say happy Valentine's Day to them. That's That should be enough. Valentine's Day came early for them. Guys, it's in like another week. You couldn't wait? Their primal instincts are kicking in as he kicks him. <laughs> hey, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm not doing anything today, but I decided to get dressed up anyway. Because why not? You know what I mean? All I'm gonna do right now is lay down before my next class. I'm like really red though and out of breath because I just walked across the campus. But it's okay, it's kind of on theme, isn't it? Anyway, happy Valentine's Day. Hope you have a good one. If not, it's okay. <laughs> it's just another day. I also forgot to mention I have a test for my next class and I would study, but like there's really no point because I have no idea what I'm doing. Wow, that was gibberish because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I've accepted my fate and sometimes that's okay. You know what I mean? Like in certain situations, like just accept defeat and move on and hope for the best next time. <laughs> so that's my struggle and yeah, I'll keep you posted on that and how that ends up. So yeah, that's my Valentine's Day. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is send my prayers up to heaven above and just leave it in the hands of fate. <laughs> I can't see a dang thing. What the heck? Oh. <laughs> you can kind of see it. This is like a death trap. I feel like I'm gonna die every time I'm in here. So if this is discovered and I'm dead, um, I told you so. Okay, I think I made it. It is literally 62 degrees. And it is February 20th. I'm a little confused. I just had to log this. <laughs> log. Captain's log. Okay. Just take a look at this scene and tell me what's out of place. So first of all, we have the calendar, which is actually covered in stuff. But take my word for it, it's February 20th. I'm kind of sweating. Um, wish I could, um, I wish this was 4D so I can just, you know, pass the sweat along. The window. I love when airplanes go by. <laughs> it's open. And I'm still warm and sweaty. Like what? No, this is not how it's supposed to be. Let me tell you a story. So, I'm currently sweaty, as usual. But I'm sweating more than the typical day. And look what I'm wearing in February. A freaking tank top. It is so hot outside. I had pit stains this morning. I had to change into this because, um, no, no pits to stain. Stains to the pits. What am I talking about? The point is, I should not be wearing this right now and I should not be sweating on February 21st. But here I am, once again, feeling lost now and then. <sighs> I hate the heat. I hate sweating. Um, I'm about to turn my air conditioning on, actually, because I just can't. <laughs> I have, um, a large body mask? I don't know. Um, so I, I cannot be sweating. My crevices are all sticky and gross and nasty, so. This is disgusting, Mother Earth. If you're listening, please get it together. Like, I'm sorry, but please. <laughs> Hi, it's March. I don't know. I think I'm going to combine my February videos and my March videos. So, I mean, you'll see. I don't know why I'm explaining it. But I feel pretty good today, um, for once in my life. <laughs> I think it's just because I got all dressed up, looking all scandalous, showing off a little skin. But I was looking in the mirror and I realized that I look like a meerkat. Yeah, I definitely look like a meerkat. So I just made that discovery and I thought I would document it. Just in case there's any secrets that my family wants to reveal to me about being related to the meerkat species. So, yeah, let me know. Also, it snowed like a lot yesterday. Yesterday was March 7th. Today's March 8th. 
and it, it was a winter wonderland yesterday and I was slipping and sliding all around campus and I'm just confused and so is mother nature clearly but my spring break is next week so hopefully it'll actually feel like spring like maybe like who knows but all I know is I'm not doing anything special but if I do I will document it and yeah okay meerkat out peace peace ew <laughs> hey selfie stickers oh my god i could just make videos like this anyway got the cheetos i have to wedge you between my legs how romantic moment of truth i'm really scared like i don't think these are gonna taste very good and this is coming from um a stand of hot cheetos so here we go It's literally what it is. <laughs> it has the puff of a puff and the flames of a flaming hot Cheeto. Not bad at all. I think it's actually maybe better. I don't know. I've always liked the puffs more than the regular Cheetos anyway. So maybe I'm just biased. Good job, Chester. You're doing a real good marketing job. Love you, man. How are you doing today, little circus performer? Look at the size difference. Oh my god, height difference goals! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, hi. I look like I was just dragged from hell. But... <laughs> so I've been watching the last season of Bates Motel because I'm so behind. Like, I'm the worst with keeping up with the Kardashians. Okay, no. Keeping up with things? Yeah, I'm almost done with the season and Quite frankly, I'm a little shaken up, okay? <laughs> As someone who has seen Psycho, like, a few times now, the way that they, like, took the story and kind of, like, made their own little twist and made their own little version of it, I admire and respect the way that they did what they did. I'm past, like, the episode, if you know what I mean. Um, It's just pretty crazy how they took the original idea and characters and names and then they like put a modern spin on it and <clears throat> and made it their own like good job guys props to you um so yeah i think i have like a few episodes left but i don't know like i'm pretty pleased with the series i just had to document this and talk about it because i don't really have anyone to talk about it with so why not just talk to myself yeah <laughs> but if anyone stumbles upon this i definitely recommend watching beats motel um some parts get a little like cringy because it's like trying to be like relatable but that's like the beginning seasons but as it gets into the true like knit and grit of it all if that makes sense it's like really intense and good especially this season like this season is just like a nail biter like um but yeah um love the cast like good job casting directors love the performances good job those of you who have been casted um this is such old news so but i'm weighing in anyway that's my review i gotta go it's late at night bye <laughs> hey it's me it's me hello i'm getting ready to go back to school today it's it's a process you know it's the afternoon and yeah i don't know how much time i have to film but not important so see you at school then woo okay honestly um i did nothing this break oh, i barely did homework like i tried to get stuff done but like you know you know how it is <laughs> you get a little distracted so yeah um life sucks but Maybe, maybe things will be better at school. Who knows? We don't know until we know. So we got to get on the road. Okay. See ya.